morning, Craft Warehouse followers. Happy Sunday. I'm just going to make sure that my video is up and running good before I get started and let everyone kind of join. Um, just give a little shout out when you've joined. Let me know that you guys can hear me. So today we're going to be making um, an anxiety bracelet. So I know things can be really stressful um, for everybody and I think these bracelets are perfect because you can put your favorite essential oil and just carry it and have it on you all day, um, just really calming you down or helping you with whatever you do need. Today I'll be putting this uh, grapefruit essential on and it's supposed to help with stress, plus I just love the smell of it. While I wait, I'm going to kind of show you guys a couple. We got some new um, Green Girl Studio charms in. And I just think they're really, really beautiful. Oh, perfect. You can hear me. Um, so let's see. I hope you guys can see that. So it's got a little ladybug. I think it's super cute for spring. Um, and then she usually has something kind of on the back side. So this one just says ladybug, but... The detail of the leaf is so cute. And then she does a lot of mermaid things. So I got this little mermaid here. It's fun because this is a link so you could put in a bracelet. And then I'm going to flip it to the back side. It has seaweed on the back side. Just super cool. Hello everyone. Now I'm going to show off this little deer. It's got a deer and a little baby on there. And then I believe it says pure love. Yeah, pure love on the back. Just a fun little surprise on um, these charms, I think. And then this one says, to thy own self be true. Just a little feather. Super simple, so you can find your design you like, but then it has like a little hidden message on the back side. I love it. Um, okay, so I see I got some people. Everyone's saying hello. Linda says hi from Seattle. So today we're going to be using um, Elasticity. And I'm going to be using this Aqua Quartz uh, Kiwi Turquoise kind of color here. And then I, and they're both eight, eight millimeters. So, and then I'm just going to be using these black lava beads. Uh, Barb loves Green Girl. I love Green Girl stuff. It's just so unique. Um, and she designs everything herself, which I love. And then I'm going to use a couple spacers here. I'm going to need your help, your guys' help in helping me decide. But I am going to pull these all out. Give me one second. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and just pull the amount that I need for a, a stretchy bracelet and a little extra to tie a knot. And then I'm going to start with doing, I'm going to do this kind of style here. So I'm going to go ahead and do the black lava beads first. I'm going to do about five of them, I think. What do you guys think? Should I do five or four? Got somebody from... Hi, Shannon from Camus and Sue Sher Sherwood. Sorry. So if you haven't worked with lava beads yet, they are a little porous bead. So you can put your essential oils in. And then these came off of a strand. So it does have a hole. I'll show you guys a strand in a second. And don't mind all my paint on my hand. I was paint pouring last night. <laughs> Barb says do five. Okay, we'll do five of these. Then. So I got five on here. I'm going to show you guys these strands too, just so you know. I have, we do have black and white. So I'll show you a white project at the end here. 
But we have black and white lava beads. We have only in the colors do we have the eight millimeter, but in the black we do have a smaller. So if you prefer a six millimeter and then we also have larger. So I wanted to go ahead and put spacers on here. And I was thinking about this black one. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's got some blingage versus a clear one. I'm gonna be doing this, remember, I'm gonna be doing this guy here. So they got some black specks in it. And then I do have this one. So it kind of hugs on that. Oh, it's not focusing, come on. It'll hug on that bead and then have some blingage. I don't know why that one's not focusing. Let's see if it'll focus down further for me. Linda says black. Yeah, I think the black one plays off really nicely on these beads. I do like these if you guys haven't played with the little caps. I'm gonna show you guys on this strand here real quick. Maybe you're doing something a little bit more blingy. Everybody's got different preferences. Gosh, I can't find the holes this morning. And look how fun that can be if you have the right. It's kind of like a little crown. I'll show, I actually did one earlier. So I did it on this little chip bracelet. And I did it, I wanted to make a spacer in between all my beads and just make it a little different, so. Really fun. This can be really awesome. Sue says bling. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go with this this little black one here. So these are eight millimeter, and again, you're just slipping them on. Really simple. And then, um, I'm gonna probably for I have a bigger wrist, so I'm probably gonna see what eight beads on each side looks like and you're just gonna keep straight stringing them on um, it's super easy I'm using this 0.8 millimeter elasticity here and I like the elasticity over the longa if you guys this is our longa because I just feel I've it holds better for me um, one thing is if you have a smaller hole you could go twice in the bead with this guy versus only once but it is a preference the longest just a little bit more stretchy and i'm very rough with my jewelry so i really like to have something nice and sturdy and i tend to like heavier beads so I like something that can hold a little bit of weight now one thing when you guys are making your own little anxiety bracelet um, you can also choose different stones. Different stones are going to help you with different things. So if you're looking, you know, for stress or maybe um, just better communication, that's also going to change what bead you are going to want to use. Or maybe you want both. So you do a different essential oil every day on your um, lava beads and then have, you know, a bead that helps you with your communication. And I will show you guys how to tie this off. On the back of this, um, gosh, I'm shaky this morning. I don't drink coffee, so I'd say I'm shaky from coffee, but I don't drink coffee, so. Just got the jitters, I guess. I'm gonna show you guys how I tie these knots and I've noticed they hold secure. I My fingers are a little bit clumsy, so I have a hard time tying the little knot on the back of the elasticity. Make sure I got the right amount here. So on the back of this, it does show you guys how to tie a knot. Um, but here, I'm gonna kinda show you guys Hoping it won't be too blurry. Okay, 
So you're gonna tie it like a shoe, right? And then I go ahead and just loop it around one more time. And then you're gonna pull it and then do one more time. So tying a shoelace, sorry. And then once more over, and then I'm just gonna pull it nice and tight. And then I also pull the two strings. So it's gonna get your knot nice and secure. Um, and then if I have room, I will go back through with my um, cording so you can't see it. Or let's say you have, let me see if I have one with me. Maybe you have a larger whole bead that you can hide your knot with. I don't actually think I'm gonna be able to get this undone. But if you put like a wood bead would be really cute or maybe you drill out one of your lava beads so you can hide your knot. Otherwise you can just go ahead and make sure you use your, I like to use the GS Hypo Cement. Um, I just like it cause let's see if I closed it, I'm horrible at closing my things, but it's got a really precise tip so I can get the glue where I want without getting it everywhere. Um, and then it also has a little needle that will go back in so it prevents the tube from drying out. Because I don't know about you guys, but I struggle with my glues and getting things closed. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this apart. And then I'm just going to kind of get that glue on the knot where I need it to be. And then you want to make sure you let the glue dry before you snip off your um, access stretchy cord. And then I'm just gonna show you guys, see this has that nice little tip. Sometimes it's a little difficult to get in there, but. Oops. It slides right in there. So there's a needle that will go in the tube, preventing your glue from drying out. I mean, I use this guy on so many different projects. Love it, it's great. Um, but yeah, super simple. They're super fun and cute. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how to put essential oils on this lava bead. Cause I've had, I always have some questions when I'm in the store, like how, do you need to let it dry? How do you put it on? So I kinda did it loose so I can pull it apart and show you guys a little bit. So you just can put a dot and I actually rub it in a little. And I just kind of go over all the beads. Now I do before I put it on, I really let it kind of soak in and absorb into um, those beads because I don't want it to get on my clothes. Especially right now, I'm wearing a lot of long sleeves. So go ahead, just give it a couple, um, or give it a minute or less and it should dry out pretty quickly and you can go ahead and pop it on and wear it and be stress-free for the day. Mm, that smells so good. I wish you guys could, I could show you guys a scent of this grapefruit. It smells so good. I love it. Um, especially it does help with stress. So it's perfect for this anxiety bracelet. Now, if you're not a huge bracelet person, you can totally do some projects that are simple and using lava beads. So you could do like a little necklace. This is with the green girl charm. And I just took the wire. I took a 20 gauge and I did um, some loops with it with the one step looper. Super simple, but yet you can wear those essential oils with you all day, helping you with your anxiety or stress, or maybe you're just trying to stay more calm, whatever it may be. Um, these are great. And then we also have these little spheres. So they just pop open and you can put your essential oil on your bead. You can close it and maybe you have this on a keychain, or you have it as a necklace. Either way, it's super fun, super easy way, especially if you are nervous about staining your clothes. Um, this will not touch you, so you'll be fine right there. Super nice. 
And then again, I just wanted to show you guys. We do have the white lava beads. It's really easy and fun to mix. Mix the colors with different beads. It gives you different looks throughout the day, your week. I am gonna really quickly, oops, sorry, I hit my camera. I'm gonna show you guys these beads. They're so fun, we just got them in. They're, they're the Aura beads. Um, oops, snuck one in there. They're just super shiny, and I love that I can make this look beachy. I could just make something su summery and fun. Um, I could mix lava beads with these. So I'm going to show you guys a quick little bracelet. Um, sorry, my video is cutting out, I guess. Blue. Blue is very, very pretty. Maybe I'll do a blue and I'll pop a quick little one of these green girl charms on. What do you guys think of that? I also really like this multi, oops, this multi one. I can see like doing a little kid's bracelet with this. This would be really fun. Maybe your kid is struggling with, you know, all the online schooling and this kind of could be a fun little bracelet for them. Let's do this. Let's go and do this multicolored one. Yes. Yes, please. The blue, the blue, is that what you're saying? Sorry, my video got delayed. I'm not sure. Okay. Let's snip, snip. Elaine, I like the multicolor too. I think it's super fun. Plus, then you don't really have to have any order you're doing things in, which I love. Um, I'm weird about my patterns sometimes, and where if it's multiple colors, I can just go ahead and run, run with the strand and mix my colors cool. up, and yeah. So I'm gonna do a couple different things here. I'm gonna go ahead and do three. I'm gonna put three on. And then I'm gonna do a spacer. I'm gonna do the other clear spacer that we have. And I'm gonna take the white lava bead. And then let's see. I'm gonna throw on one of those green girl charms. Trying to get it out of its package, you guys. Give me a second. I gotta get a jump ring real quick. Oops. Okay. So I got a little bit of each. I'm gonna go ahead and use a mermaid on this one. I wanna show you guys, since I don't have a jump ring with me, I have these pliers here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and make a jump ring out of this. So you wrap the wire around. Oops, if I can. I'm using a 20 gauge wire here. So I just wrap it around. And I'm gonna snip it. I'm using my flush cutters to make sure it's nice and smooth. And you're just gonna snip them so they're even. Ending in an even spot. And then Take your pliers, just open it up. Usually I have two, I only brought the one out today, sorry. And then close it up. So I may have this sitting in between my two lava beads. Oh, 
I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me move them all. Okay. Really like the white with this blue. Um, Joy, we do sell essential oils in the store. I'm not sure. With COVID, the stock has been kind of up and down, so I'm not really sure what all, oops, forgot my spacer, what all we have in stock right now, but I do know we have lavender, we have cedar wood, we have grapefruit. Um, I know that we have some bl mixture blends for like happy and calm and, but from there, I'm not sure off the top of my head what we have. And they all are good for different things. I'd have to look them up. I'm um, Usually lavender people use to calm themselves down. It's just relaxing. See here, I'm gonna use a spacer to so break apart my beads. I can kind of post a little list of what we have and after we're done and what they are good for. We can do that for you. So I'm just going along and I'm doing three on each side, beads, and then I'm doing a spacer. So you don't have to work with just one end, you can work with two ends when making a bracelet. I don't know, but I can smell that grapefruit and it's so, so nice. Makes me wanna get one of those essential um, oil humidifiers. Okay, just three more. One thing I love about the stretchy elastic cord is it's so easy to make a bracelet. Um, so you can make one of these for everybody in your that needs it in your life or yourself. Maybe you want maybe you do want one for every day. Okay, again, I'm gonna show you guys that knot. I'm gonna bring it up. Like tying a shoe. So one and then twice around. And then I'm going to tighten it and then once more. So like you're tying a shoe and once ar more around and then just pull it nice and tight. And then you want to make sure you're pulling both strings. Um, I am not sure off the top of my head what the length of my first bracelet was. I'm guessing it was probably about an eight, eight inch bracelet. I do have a uh, wider wrist than most. Usually a seven or a six and a half works. Um, ooh, maybe I'll have to go check out new seasons for that. But, and then this guy I did a little bit smaller cause I'm at, that's going to be for somebody else, but yeah, it's got that little green girl charm. So you got the mermaid and the seaweed on one side and then you have that fun blue and just that little hint of white. And then of course the blingage. Another fun thing you can do is any of your um, metal bead spacers. This guy didn't do it on elastic, but you can put metal bead spacers in between, and those go on your elastic perfectly as well. But, yeah, that is all I got for you guys today. But we do have some more events coming up, so please check those out. We're going to have more coming up in February. Try and provide you guys with that fun um, make and take experience, even though we aren't able to do it in stores. So let us know what you want to see. Hope you all have a great day. And hopefully the sun comes out and you can enjoy some sunshine. All right. Bye.